think we have arrived at our desired habitat. It's a fun city here. Yeah. The falling from the I sky. I love seeing all the different shapes. Yeah. Yeah, that it's one in the center shapes. right now is super weird looking. Looks like a bird pecking. It's thinking of a painful trip to the dentist. <laughs> Got the hole in my tooth was about the size of the osculum on that sponge. How do I call this something sciencey? Unknown glass sponge. This is something different that we haven't collected before, so this is a really exciting find. Just a reminder that we'll want to keep all the sponge samples separate. Part of the reason for that is some of the spicules from the sponges are part of what's diagnostic about them. So we need to make sure we know which spicules came from which sponge. Oh, then there's a green Luna sponge below it. Oh. Oh, the green sponge we think is Latrunculia osti osteni. Are they rare, green Luna sponge? It was initially thought to be rare, but actually now we think they're a different color morph, so it's darker gray sort of inshore and greener offshore. Huh. Ranging from Alaska down to Washington. A lot of samples have come from quite a lot shallower than this though, so it's nice to get a deep sample. We'll be able to confirm whether it is that same species or another species in that genus. Oh, yes. It's right there. <laughs> you guys have the sound effect. <laughs> how, do the, how do the sponges reproduce? Mostly re they reproduce with larvae release a specific kind of larvae. So they, they spawn, do you think? Yep. Sometimes you'll see them smoking and that's them releasing gametes. Mm -hmm. Are there also some that reproduce by budding? I know that you, that you can also, they can, chunks can regrow. Yeah, I think, yeah. yeah. Those are the two that I'm aware of, two variations. Quick look at the quesadilla sponge, which is an Afrocalisti species. Afrocalisti. Or in that genus, I should say. Afrocalistes vastus. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. Yeah, there's that webbing in between yeah. the two sides. Okay. Yeah, once Swim you can there. get in there oh. and look at it, it's, um. Oh, it's awesome. like a little. Honeycomb structure going up over the yeah. top. Yeah, mm -hmm. it does look kind of honeycomb. I wonder if it keeps the larger animals out, because oh. only the smaller shrimp could get in there. And the sieve across that top oscula seems to be, yeah, mostly on the small individuals. So like that bottom one, you can see it looks like it's already broken. Seems like the um, leaves, ah. the lettuce leaves of the feria seem larger and less wavy than the ones we saw yeah, before. No, this this one looks different. It's interesting that the wings seem to be more rigid than I was anticipating. Mm. I never know if I should call these slurps or grabs. <laughs> Slurps. Slurps. <Yeah. laughs> oh, slurp assistant grab. Yeah. They're glurps or slaps. Slurp. I wonder why sponges are so often white and yellow. Yeah, I guess where does that pigmentation generally come from and what would be the benefit of it? Abby was saying that for shallower sponges, sometimes the color comes from microbial symbi symbionts. 